Hello and welcome to Rapid Bytes. Today we're going to look at how to create a payout. Rapid has an API first company, and here in Rapid Bytes, we'll show you how to work with our API to accept, hold, and disperse funds anywhere using local payment and payout methods. Be sure to check out our developer community uh, in the link below. You can comment below or post in community for any questions regarding our API. Thanks for watching. Again, we're going to be using the Rapid API to create a payout. So payouts are a way to pay contractors, workers, suppliers, or really any business anywhere in the world. You can send funds directly uh, to their bank account or using uh, that payout method um, uh, to them. And really, uh, it's based upon the supported countries um, that we will call. And so here I am on the Rapid Disperse Overview page with uh, descriptions and a lot of the definitions and features of using payouts and the rapid Dis disperse platform uh, so here you can get to know uh, some of these definitions I'm gonna go to the next page under payouts here is the first API call create payout under payouts and so we have um, uh, the request here the, in the crossbody and the, the parameters, again, with the definitions of all the fields. And here are all the different requests that you can do. Uh, today, we're just going to do a basic uh, payout. So it'll include the beneficiary and sender objects. I'll explain that as I go through. But you can also tokenize these um, contacts and, and include that uh, in there with their saved uh, payout method. And here you can do uh, basically e-wallet and different payout methods in which you would call depending on the supported country. And we have all the responses here. I'm gonna also re retrieve the payout at the end. I'm just gonna grab that and I'll have the same information um, here. And here, actually, I just wanted to point out, uh, this does have um, uh, a foreign exchange. And so you can uh, send a different currency uh, that is received. Uh, there will be uh, FX fees for that. We won't be doing that today, but I can do that in a different video. Uh, one essential call that will be necessary is uh, get payout required fields just to know what is included a card number a bank account number and of course the the detailed uh, name information and then here is just our use case page uh, where we have uh, just an overview of uh, the dispersed platform here is a uh, payout method types in which the has just the over uh, arching categories of uh, the payout method so uh, bank account uh, you know there's ACH um, and payout to a card cash I'm going to head over to postman where we will be working out of if you haven't gotten started in postman there's a video you can follow uh, to make your first API call download postman and get started in client portal and so the first thing I am going to search up is list payout method types. And so this is just for um, United States and the US dollar. And so here we have different payout method types, a US general bank. And here are all the, the different sender currencies that it supports. And so you will absolutely want to look into that uh, as you are making your payouts uh, to from the sender to the beneficiary. And so I will search up payout card fields. This is for um, ATM card. I'll just search up US General Bank payout amount 1000 and so here are some 
Uh, you can find required fields for this, um, as well as just uh, necessary information for the sender and beneficiary. Heading over to now, uh, create a payout. Um, here is US General Bank, and some of the information here is the beneficiary uh, with the information and account number, uh, the beneficiary uh, entity type. This can be individual or you know business company. And so you'll want to mark that there. Here's the payout type uh, and then uh, the e-wallet, the rapid uh, wallet uh, where the funds uh, are. And then I will grab um, or I will change this to a thousand uh, just because and here is uh, some more of the uh, personal information for the sender and currency is the same so we're not doing um, we are not doing any foreign exchange uh, today but we can do that in a different video uh, this the entity type is individual and the country is the same. So that is our full request with the beneficiary and sender information all within the request. So I'm going to send this. Oh, and look, there's an issue. There's not enough funds. And so I'm actually going to fund this account. Uh, let's see if I can do a virtual simulate bank transfer to um, to a wallet I do need to issue a virtual account so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this here currency USD US all right and so this is separate I'm just funding the account right now and then um, we should have enough after this <laughs> awesome and so here we have the e-wallet now I'm gonna go back to the create payout uh, so what I did was just uh, create a virtual account uh, we have another video I can drop the link below um, on top of the rapid wallet uh, accept the bank transfer into that virtual account and, and rapid wallet and now I have should have plenty of funds for a uh, $1,000 uh, payout. Awesome, it looks like it went through and, and it is successful. Here's the payout ID. And I'm going to retrieve Retrieve the payout here um, and here we again see it is successful uh, and so that is it uh, we looked at some of the documentation on the rapid deserves platform and payouts uh, looked at uh, listing payout method types uh, for a specific country uh, you can do any of the supported countries listed uh, and then getting the payout required fields in which we uh, were listed here in the full request, having all of the beneficiary and sender information. Um, and then they're actually uh, coming funds, since they were coming from the Rapid Wallet, uh, they weren't enough funds, so we actually funded the wallet, uh, in which case uh, be sure to fund the wallet and you could um, use retrieve uh, wallet balance before so when um, of course the the person doing the payout should make sure there's enough funds there but we had to fund the wallet today and then uh, it went through it was successful and retrieved the payout uh, so thanks again for watching if you have any questions comment below or post in community.rapid.net and you can ask anything about the Rapid API. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.